I'm Emilio Pasmino, and this is The Boa Constrictor. So last night, I was doing a routine inspection on the aquarium fish we have here on the ranch when I noticed a tail sticking out from behind a tank. Immediately, I knew I was dealing with one of the top predators in the area. This is the boa constrictor, the largest species of snake found in Guayaquil. This right here is a gorgeous specimen. It appears that she shed recently. You can see the kind of like a blue iridescence. I don't know if you can see it on the um, film. And I know it's a she because if you look over here, Right here near her cloaca. If it were male, it would have like two little claws around here called spurs. It's a female. For a boa constrictor, she's actually not that big. Let's see, I'll hold her up. I would say she's about five feet, maybe. They usually grow at around 10 feet in length, but there have been some females that reach about 14 feet, so she still has a lot to grow. These guys, their primary food source are rodents. They will hunt them at night. And I suspect that's the reason she was actually near the fish is because there are rats that get there in there at night to eat the fish feed. So she was probably hunting them when I found her. To hunt their prey, these guys have specialized cells near their mouth that they use to detect heat, kind of like a pit viper does. They will slowly creep up on their prey and then quickly strike and latch on. They are constrictors, which means that they wrap around their prey and squeeze it. Previously, it was believed that the prey died due to respiratory failure, that they would lose all the air and then they would suffocate. However, recent studies show that the way their prey actually dies is by cardiac arrest because they get squeezed so hard that their blood pressure goes completely haywire and eventually their heart stops. They die a lot faster than suffocating. I'm gonna put this guy on the ground. And I'm actually gonna show you how you catch them. So you can see he's pretty calm right now. So I'm hoping he doesn't get aggressive. But if he does, that'll be a perfect time to show you. So thankfully right now, this snake is in flight mode. It's not trying to strike, it's just trying to get away. So you have to wait until the snake is like this. If the snake were snapping right now, it's not a good time to grab it. So you slowly walk up behind it. And in one decisive but quick move, two, one, two, three. Pin down the head. Then you grab it like so. And there you go, you have your snake. Now, you have to put it in the bag. So here's what you do. You take your snake bag, or in this case, like a sack, put your hand here, and you pass it to your other hand. Then, you flip it, and make sure you get all the body of the snake in there. Come on. Now, once you have it secure here, only then do you let go of the head. And now, you wrap it. And there you go, a snake in the bag. Many people are afraid of snakes, especially one of this size. However, there's no need to be afraid of these snakes. For one, they're not venomous. As I mentioned before, they kill their prey only by constriction. Also, these snakes are actually beneficial because they eat rats and mice that can carry diseases that are harmful to us. And since they help us with pest control, today we're actually gonna help this snake because, let me show you guys, it's actually infested with ticks. So they help us with pest control and today we are going to return the favor by removing the ticks. So here we are with our boa constrictor, ready to remove the ticks. We've got tweezers, we've got Alcohol, don't mind the label, this is actually rubbing alcohol in the jar. So, let's get started. So 
So I think those were the two largest ones. Let's go ahead and kill them. Let's get the, have the snake away from the alcohol. So I believe those were the two biggest ones, but there are plenty of smaller ones all around. And let me look for a few. Mm, here's one. These ones are harder to get because they're so small. There we go. The snake appears to have a wound. It might have actually been these ticks that were very persistent and damaged the scales. So we're done removing the ticks. And I'm happy to report that we removed about 30 ticks off this poor snake. I'm sure that there are a few that I missed, but this is definitely the majority. Well, it's time to let this guy go. I'm gonna put her right back in the exact spot I found her, so she can hunt the rat that's been pooping all over the place here. Till next time.